Welcome to this Maths Made Easy video on reduction to linear form. And to start with, let's take a look at examples of the form y equals ax to the power of n. So to start with, let's take the logarithms here of both sides of this equation. So what that would give us here is log y. So on the left hand side, we get log y. On the right hand side here, using the properties of the logarithms, as this is a product here, we can split this up as a sum here. So this is the logarithm of a plus the logarithm of x to the n here. Okay, and remember now the power rule here for logarithms, so we can bring the n to the front of here. So this is equal now to log a plus n log x there. Okay, now overall here what we've got is y equals ax to the n, and we can see here that we get log y is equal to log a plus n log x. Now, if we plot log y against log x, we have a straight line. And we can see that from this graph here, okay? Notice what we've got in red is y against x. And in blue here, we've got log y against log x. So let's just denote that using the appropriate pen colors. So in red here, this is y against x. So y against x. And in blue here, what we've got is log y against log x there. Okay, and that's the straight line here represented in blue. Okay, so that gives us everything we need there for reduction to linear form of the form here, y equals ax to the power of n. Moving on now to take a look at this form here of y equals ab to the power of x. And again, we just start this exactly like we did with the previous example here by Stein. We're taking the logarithms of the left-hand side and the right-hand side here. So in that case, we obtain log y is equal to the logarithm. So that's going to be the logarithm of ab to the power of x. And then we can just apply basic properties here of logarithms. So in that case, splitting these up then, as this is a product, we obtain log a plus the logarithm of b to the x, okay? And again here, just applying some more basic properties of logarithms, we can bring this x to the front of this logarithm here. So we get log y is equal to log a plus x log b there, okay? Now overall, what we've got here is y equals a b to the power of x, and we can see this gives us here the logarithm of y, which is equal to log a plus x log b here. Okay. Now, if we plot log y against x, we obtain a straight line graph. And we can see this using this graphical representation here. This graph shows y against x in red. Okay, so let's just quickly denote this again using the appropriate pen color here. So y against x is represented in red. Okay, so that's y against x here represented in this red line. And then finally, if we represent it in blue here, the straight line that we've obtained here, this is log y against x. So log y against x there. Okay, and that gives us our straight line there in blue. So that gives us everything we need there for this form of y equals ab to the power of x. And that concludes this Mass Made Easy video on reduction to linear form.